What's going on guys? Ryan O'Toole back here again giving you guys another review. Today's review is a big one. That's right. This is one of my most anticipated movies of the year. You know what it is and that is Logan. This one's directed once again by James Mangold and it stars the complete badass Hugh Jackman. And you also have Patrick Stewart, Daphne Keene, and Boyd Holbrook. As you guys know, this is a big-ass movie, so I am not going to spoil anything. Don't worry, guys. This is going to be a non-spoiler review. You're safe here. This movie takes place in a time period where all mutants are gone. They're non-existent, and Wolverine, Professor X, and a bunch of other mutants, not much, are left today. Wolverine is very old and Professor X is very old and they come across this young mutant named X-23 who they have to send her back to North Dakota and because she's being hunted down by this guy played by Boyd Holbrook and she's trying to capture her and so these guys have to make it safe without being hunted down by this squad. To even say I was excited about Logan is an understatement. I have been excited for this ever since I've seen Wolverine. He's one of my favorite comic book heroes of all time. And this is Hugh Jackman's final time. He's wearing the animantium claws, given one final outing as the complete badass Wolverine. The marketing for this movie has been completely spot on. Every single trailer has been flawless and has gotten me excited to see this movie. And... I'm just so blown away by the amount of work behind the scenes to get this movie made. And the question is, guys, does Logan deliver? Oh, yes, it does. Now, guys, I am not fanboying. I am being 100% honest. That's what I do. Logan was everything that I wanted it to be. This movie blew me away. Everything from start to finish, I was locked in. It just made my mind blown of comic bookness, of how great it was. And so, let's jump right into the positives. We, of course, got to start with Hugh Jackman as Wolverine. So damn good in this movie. Fantastic. This was his final performance. And watching Wolverine in this movie is more saddening because this guy is older, he's more beat up he's been through so much shit and he's pissed off and angry just not the wolverine that we loved before i really love the timeline of this movie that there's no mutants left it's just wolverine and he's lost so much and hugh jackman so fantastic and it's the same for professor x patrick stewart his final outing as this character and Seeing Professor X in this movie is also heartbreaking because he's having a lot of problems with stress and it's just so heartbreaking. But he does add some great humor, which made it all happy. But still, it's just so sad to see the characters we grew up loving in a different state of mind. Now I got to talk about this X-23 girl, Daphne Keene. Oh my god, she was brilliant in this movie. Just like I was expecting from the trailer, she was such a badass in the action sequences. And I also loved the little touch to her character. And based off the trailers, everyone thought she wasn't even going to talk much. But she actually does talk a lot. She does have some good dialogue in the movie. She doesn't just not say anything. And it's Brilliant. Also, Boyd Holbrook as the villain, he was pretty good in this movie. I didn't think he was going to be shit, and he was a cool-ass villain. He does some badass shit, and he's a very sneaky guy. He does some stuff. You're like, yeah, man, you're an asshole. Now, the question is, with this being rated R, how is the violence going to be? The action. And let me tell you guys, hands down the best action in the entire Wolverine franchise Oh my god, these action sequences, they are so brutal, intense, bloody. This is the most violent and bloodiest comic book movie I've 
ever seen in Deadpool was that too, but the action in this movie is so fantastic and so brutal. Everything I wanted to see. There's some great humor in this movie. It wasn't too serious at times. It had great humor, especially with the jokes about the X-Men comics in this movie. I thought was fantastic. And Hugh Jackman really delivers that. And I'm also very satisfied that this was rated R and not PG-13 because for Hugh Jackman's last performance, you need this to go all out bloody, blood and gore, total Wolverine action. And there is a lot of scenes where we see that very intimidating Weapon X Wolverine. And it was so satisfying. It was for the fans. My entire crowd was cheering and so was I. This character and the legacy it has had, it's made so many comic book movie fans very satisfied. And with what Hugh Jackman did in this movie, given a final fantastic performance it's very happy to see as far as negatives for this movie i didn't find any major ones except for one nitpick there's one scene in the movie where it shows this video clip and it tells a lot of exposition that i felt could have been completely taken out of the movie sure it did add some information we need to know but it didn't interest me it was i felt it was unnecessary in the end guys logan was everything I wanted it to be. This was a fantastic final Wolverine movie in the franchise. Hugh Jackman taking a big hurrah as Wolverine. The action so brutal and this was a very satisfying movie. Guys, definitely see Logan. You will not regret it. On my rating scale, Logan absolutely gets a 5 out of 5 stars. I'm so happy. All right, guys, that was my review for Logan. Have you guys seen the movie yet? Are you going to go see it? Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Why am I even asking that? Of course you guys are going to go see this movie. It's Wolverine. Thank you guys, as always, for watching this review. And if you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up. And be sure to subscribe today for more content. All my social media links are in the description down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.